Megan's worst nightmare just came true. Megan's archetypes project banned from all platforms. Hello, truth seekers, and welcome back to our channel, where we reveal the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself for a bombshell that has sent shockwaves throughout the kingdom and beyond. Meghan Markle, the master manipulator, and her puppet Harry are facing a judgment that even today, they could not have foreseen. I bring you the story of Megan's worst nightmare coming true. Her prototype project, typical of her efforts to stay relevant, was banned on all platforms. Embrace the sweetness of karma. But before we dive into the tumultuous waters of this reveal, if you haven't done me a favor by hitting that subscribe button and turning on notifications, you might want to do that. You won't want to miss out on this explosive content we have in store. Now let's rewind a bit. Megan has always craved attention. She thinks that she can conquer the podcast world with her archetypes project. But little did she know that her big plan was about to collapse and karma would come knocking on her door. The archetypes project, previously exclusive to Spotify, has launched itself across all platforms including Apple Podcasts and royal fans can be hard to hear it. They were angered by Megan's blatant attempts to exploit her royal connections, playing a key role in the downfall. But the real twist in the story is that Megan tried to change the look of the podcast cover. Spotify's original cover art featured a black and white image of the Duchess on a green background with text placed over the image. However, in a desperate attempt to save her sinking ship, Megan changed it. She changed the archetype's appearance for its relaunch in the new medium. Oh boy, did it backfire in a big way. The new cover is not an upgrade. It's a weak attempt to hide the toxicity that Megan brings. The photo appears blurrier with a purple tint and the prototype text has been strategically moved above Megan's face. Perhaps she thought that this would make us forget the absurdity of her projects, but the public saw her right through the facade. This is when Karma really stuck with revenge, fueled by the public's distaste for Megan's antics. The archetype's project received general rejection. Listeners flooded in with one-star ratings, a unanimous verdict on the ridiculousness of Megan's attempt to become a podcast star. The people have spoken, and their message is loud and clear. They rejected Megan and all their attempts to cash in on her royal connections. Now, let's not forget the delicious, or rather, the malicious irony of Megan's move from Spotify to Lemonade Medium. It's like jumping from one sneaking ship to another after breaking up with Spotify. Megan thought that Lamana would be her saving grace. Little did she know that even a change in foundation could not protect her from the consequences of her own actions. This development serves as a stark reminder that the public is not fooled by Megan's efforts to rebrand and repackage herself. The prototype project, or archetypes, whatever, like Megan's other endeavors, is nothing more than a hollow attempt to capitalize on her royal name. The ban on off platforms is a testament to the rejection of Megan's schemes. In short, Megan's worst nightmare has come true. Her prototype project, the supposed jewel in her podcast crown, was widely banned. Karma bit back, and it was a little hard. Megan may have thought she could rewrite her story, but the public saw right through the smoke and mirrors. The message is quite clear. People have played enough of Megan's games, and they don't buy what she's selling anymore. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Sound off in those comments. Let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more shocking stories and revealing scandals on your YouTube channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with the latest information from the royal world. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again with some more juicy royal news.